What's up, Better Days? Today is day two. A restful night's sleep. We had a full moon rise right there. It was unbelievable. I fished here yesterday afternoon and uh, caught some massive bluegill right here. Watched a few big bass come up in here while I was catching bluegill and, and pick a couple off. And then we also caught a real nice catfish standing right here. Now, I'm going to get that on video today. We're going to do some fishing here right off the back dock. Just right off the back deck here. And uh, we're also going to get out there on the lake. I'm just going to include everything in today's video. Let's get out here and see what we can catch on this lake today. <laughs> got a Ned rig right now. I actually threw a plastic frog down in here just a second ago and right when it hit the water a bass exploded on it. I see a little bass. Yeah, I do. Let's see if he'll take this frog. Piece of grass, piece of stick, nothing. It felt like something. He's going for it. Got him. Watch to meet it. Just watch to meet it. Ned rig. Nice bass. Let's not break our rod. Just watch him swim right over and pick up my Ned rig. Threw him a topwater frog. He didn't like that. He said, nah. He hit at it one time, but then swam away from it. He saw this Ned rig go in, darted to it. Looked at it, I gave it a twitch, and then he just crushed it. Boom! I said, Oh, he's got it. Nice large mouth. First catch of the day, day two. We're gonna get into him, guys. I think it's gonna rain all day, but you know me, I'll just put on a poncho and go to work. This is actually what I was doing last night that was so successful, I was just pinching a little piece of bread onto the hook. No sinker, six pound test, dropping it over here, trying to catch these bluegills, and we got a nice big channel cat, just didn't get them on video for you guys. That didn't work. This is so much fun, just watching these bluegills eat this bread ball. Look how many little fish there are. Oh, a bass just came up in here. They'll all get spooked like that when a bass comes in. We might see one feed right here. I've seen it several times already. They just shoot up in here and grab a bluegill. Boom, explosion. Now this is what we were catching last night that you guys didn't get to see. Me and Dad sat out here and had a couple beers and well, this is a trophy bluegill in the state of Tennessee. It's 10 inches long. Oops, let me show it to you. This is the trophy bluegill. It's 10 inches long. 
It's from the tip of my finger all the way down past my wrist. It's a massive bluegill. Oh, let's see here. We're just going to have to pitch him back. Look how pretty he is. Oh my gosh. Here you go, bud. Doggone it. That was that one. That was that one. Didn't get him. Get these bluegills all fired up. I'll try to pull a couple in. It's the number six hook and a little piece of bread on the tip. No weight, no bobber. No weight, so it, it literally didn't even cast down to the water before it stopped. There we go. There we go. It's just that easy. cabin catch a fish now that's the smallest one I've been able to hook boy that's like bait right there that's perfect man man he's perfect Maybe not. There's a nice little bait fish. Alright. I know what I need to do. I need to go grab a bigger pole with heavier line. Then I need to try to catch another one of these bait fish that I've just released two of. I need to use them for bait. There's a good one. I watched him grab it. Ooh. Chonker. Mm. Mm, nice. Ow, ow, ow. He got me. Whap, whap, whap. He got me. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes they'll get you. Try to cautiously grab him. There we go. So he doesn't fin me. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a bass. There's a bass. Called one up. Let's see if he'll come after that bluegill. 
I got a bluegill on the hook, and I'm just kind of holding him down in the grass. See if that bass will come up in here and take a swipe at him. I don't see him. No. I don't see him. I pulled a couple in, but I caught a couple little ones and I thought about grabbing a, a bigger pole with heavier line and maybe tossing one out for bait because I know it would work. That's a good one. Whoop de doo. That's a little fish. Yeah. I don't see no snake. Yeah. There's probably a little too much activity right now for him. I like to lay low. All right, the first little piece of worm worked. Yeah, that chair didn't do me any good. No, sit on that couch or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go in for a little bit. Oh, there's the bass. There's the bass, there's the bass. It's all good, I'm gonna get him. I'll sh you'll see the video. There's a huge bass that just cruised through here. All I saw was his tail. Now it's tell me. Dragonfly. Now I can get that off of there. That don't even make sense. Yeah, it's a, another big one. Three, four pounder. It's cruising. Right through the grass. Right on the edge. That outside edge. Not in here. Out, right out there. Nice guy. Big guy. These are the cabins on the water. These are the ones that we're staying in right here. It's three bedroom with five, five double beds. And then there's across the water, those are two bedrooms. But they're all on the water. You can fish from all of them. It's really cool. It's wonderful out here. Absolutely wonderful. Beautiful park. They got everything you need too, like right there in front of your, see right there, you got the grill. All of them have that right out in front. So you got your grill, you got your full kitchen with the stove and the microwave and the coffee pot, I mean, toaster, everything you need, you know, fridge, freezer. So you can bring yourself some food and grill you some stuff and, I mean, it's just fantastic. I brought my little boat. We went out and caught some fish. And uh, look, they brought their kayaks. And they got their little boat there. And uh, you just, you launch your boat across at the boat ramp. And then just drive up behind your little house here for the weekend or however long you're staying. It's great. It's fantastic. So that's what it's like fishing at your fishing cabin at Fall Creek Falls. Admittedly, on my three days here, I didn't get to fish as much as I wanted. It has rained the whole time we've been here. But that's okay. Because we need the rain and we're in a severe drought, so. It just happened to be the three days we planned on being at the park. But that happens. But don't sleep on these little places, I'm telling you. We pulled some bass out of here, some catfish out of here, some bluegills out of here. 
He's got to have a long net so you can reach down there and get it. But it's a great spot. And this is Fall Creek Falls Lake. And these are the fishing cabins. And I tell people where to go fishing. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.